Zagana F in from SDS Imports. Kick things off with the full mag plus one. Gonna decock there. Leave the safety on while I change. That gives us 16 total rounds. Have a piece of steel about 12 yards. A little close, but we're on a short range today. See how this runs on full mag plus one. Starting decocked for that double action first shot. Nice and smooth double action. Good reset on there. That was fun. Let's see what this thing eats in the what's for dinner. Who's hungry? It's what's for dinner time. Brought to you in part by the folks who help us out with ammo squared. As you can see, we've got a variety of different bullet profiles, different bullet weights, and casing materials. Don't have any aluminum today, but we do have steel and nickel plated brass letting you see what each of these loads are the purpose of this is to see will the gun pick up these rounds from slide lock is there enough energy to cycle the gun and pick up the next round the third round just to eliminate any variables and see if it will lock the slide open when complete that's how you know if the gun's gonna run with these there's no need to do a full mag of them because we already covered that with the full mag plus one as the magazine test. All right, so starting things off with the Zagana, we're gonna start with the Inceptor 65 grain. Those are copper polymer rounds. Circle number one. Barely felt that thing move. And next is the Ops 85 grain frangible hollow point. Circle number two. Next we have Norma's monolithic hollow point in 108 grain. If I can get this slide released, there we go. Circle number three. I threw that just to see where it would land. Next we have these Koenig 110 grain jacketed hollow points. I rather like these rounds at circle number four. Next up we have SIG's 365V crown in 115 grain. That slide release is a little tight for me with my shorter hands. Circle number five. And for number six, we're going to be using the SIG 365-115 full metal jacket round. Not sure why the spread there. Now for a zinc plated steel case, the Silver Bear 115 grain, this stuff can be quite the fire spitter. So it'll be interesting to see in a longer barrel if we still get that. Steel of course expands and contracts at a different rate from brass. 
that can cause problems in some guns. It also tends to rust, which is why this stuff is zinc plated. Woo! Yep, it's the high recoil load. But, accurate. So another steel case load, this is the 125 grain uh, from Hornady, their steel match, the HAP, H-A-P hollow point. This steel case is lacquered, that's why it's green. The paint to help prevent rust for target number eight. Much softer shooting. Now the 138 grain Federal Syntec Defense. This is the synthetic jacketed frangible hollow point that breaks apart into three pedals and a core. Kind of cool, plus it's blue. That's good for the doctors, makes it a little easier for them to dig it out of the bad guy. Maybe, I don't know. Target number nine, 138 grain on this by the way. Shot fairly tightly. Now at 147 grain, the Federal Syntec training match. This is a snubby that's not quite so snubby as others because of that uh, synthetic edge on there. Target number 10. That shot pretty smooth. Lee. Adverbs, people, adverbs. It's not an adjective. Grammar. For the accuracy shots, five shots from seven yards, gonna be using the nozzle 115 grain match. Had uh, generally excellent results with this ammo. Left circle square. Sorry folks, don't know what took me so long on that. And apparently I do better shooting faster anyways. From my five shots from seven yards, I'll be using the Nosler match grade also in 115 green. The Zagana F is a pleasure to shoot. That is one thing for sure. Not only is it rather broad, so you've got that nice full sofa, not a love seat uh, for your hand. And then aluminum frames, man, if you can't go steel frame, aluminum frame is second best. Really comfy, weighty, solid gun. I was very excited to see that these SDS import models are functioning better with lighter loads than some of the earlier imports. We tested one a couple years ago and it seemed to be set up for 124 grain NATO, hotter loads, didn't run so smoothly on uh, anything lighter, it would choke up. We haven't had any issues with it. Um, nice soft shooter, very comfortable shooter, and I'm a big fan of the decocker, single action, double action combo as a carry gun. It does have a rail on it, it's comfortable to shoot, gives you confidence in the hand. I think it'd be a very fitting home defense gun. All right, so I've been excited to shoot this since Graham brought it home and it did not disappoint. It sits really well in the hand and even for as large as it is, I don't feel like it's too much for me to 
I obviously wouldn't carry it all day, but I could certainly shoot it all day and, and not feel fatigued. It, it functions really well. I do have a little bit of trouble with uh, reaching that lever, but that's just something I need to overcome. And obviously if I was shooting it all day, I'd be racking it, but I wanted to see how that would work. Um, I, I really enjoy this and I'm looking forward to shooting it again.